Hello guys, this is Joshua Horse here, so you can tell by the title of the video, I'm doing a review for Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 3. Um, this season has a real ride of emotions of how I feel about it, let's just say. The first 11 episodes I thought were quite bad, I wasn't into the show, the first 11 episodes, I was like, I don't like this, this is bad, and that was really annoying because that was the first... Time I truly disliked some of the stars. It just, it they did nothing for me, and I was just like, this is going to be the low way. It's going to get like a four or five out of ten. I love a sway stars thing. I've seen the worst stars thing I've seen, and it kind of is that section. I'd give about a four out of ten. So I got a notification that section, but the show right in episode twelve, they just decided, how about we get really interesting. <laughs> Yeah, so from episode 12 onwards, they make, it was pretty good, like, the, the f episodes from tw 12 and a little bit more are some of the most, I think there was like two or three episodes that things done with 12. One of the most interesting f things I've watched, I was really intrigued by it. And it, can I just say, this season, with the side adventures, they did a lot more with her, they kind of gave her more of a character, because in the past season, she was just... Generic assassin trained by Count Dooku to kill Jedi, and that was it. But no, they actually give you a little bit more of our past and create more of a character of who she kind of is, which I really liked. I really liked that. Um, I thought that was really well done, and and he's and her yeah, all the time. It's just like. You, you don't necessarily root for her because you know she's done terrible things, but you're like, man, she's been through a lot. You almost kind of feel bad for her when you learn stuff like that. So she got really interested. And it only happened in like a few minutes. I was like, I'm invested in you. So, yes, uh, it was really good. Um, after that storyline, which it really peaked like in the middle of the show, the two stories it did afterwards were fine, but it didn't. Wasn't as good as that one. Because then at the end of the few, it ends with a nice old twist, which you guys probably know about. Um, so uh, the episodes that are Star Adventures, it was in the best. She was just highlight of the season. Um, the, and the next story we kind of got with the next few episodes was really good as well. I was really intrigued by that story. The next one, one was nice. It was alright, and the last one was. Pretty good. I would have had them change the order because there was if you change the order in which you do these episodes, there's not really a big change in the story. Like you could have had those main episodes last, and you could have had the next story there. You know, just so it can slowly get better. So yeah, and plus the reason why I disliked the first eleven episode, it just felt a bit of a mess. Like. They pretty much said, screw timeline, let's just confuse you. Because um, one episode, the first episode, is based on before one of the episodes in season one. Um, one episode, one or two episodes is based at like, the finale, after the fin why are one episode is based before the last episode of season one. And then one's based afterwards, but it's literally the first season that I didn't do in the second season. That was just like, it was t a bit diffi really difficult to kind of get interested in. Because like, um, yeah, it was just a bit of a, I was just like, yeah. Because um, then, because there was one episode with the effects where I was like, wow, what's going to happen? What's going to, because there was one episode I was like, oh, this could be interesting with this, if these villains, uh, if, with this sort of thing, this should have effect on the future of the series. Nope, it was based before season two. Like, it was so mad, it was kind of hard to keep up by. Like, I instantly don't care about the episode because I know what happened. It was like, it would, the timeline was, um, both blatantly not very good. Um, but the other episodes were really interesting with the Sarge Ventress, and we get to go, I, to Daphomir. Which I've only seen Daphomir from a little bit from Rebels and 
Jedi Fallen Order. So see a bit more of the Clone Wars, it's nice to kind of flesh it out and stuff like that. I really kind of like that. Um, the next story they to told after that was very interesting. It was a, it was the, it was mainly about Anakin. Obi Wan and Ahsoka were there, but Anakin was kind of the main feature of it. And one of the episodes on the finale kind of space, I was like, gee, one sex scene, and if you, you that kind of leads to his eventual turn to the dark so, and. Well, kind of just leave. Um, just something like happens that shows the future. Uh, uh to not try and spoil it too much, and that was probably the best thing in the entire show because it was like, wow. So, and the next stories are totally that was fine. That was they're pretty good, but they could not top what I had seen. It this season feeds where this show really gets going, and I can see. Why it's so loved uh, from episode 12 onwards, of course. I can see why people like this show so much. I'm starting to see that. Because season one was alright. Season one was meh. Season two was pretty good. I would say it was quite good, actually. I gave it a 7 out of 10. Season three started off rough. Like, really rough. But then got better. So, overall, I do think this is the best season just because of the last half of the show. The first... Half the show was quite bad, I didn't like it. And that's the first kind of bit of stars I didn't like. And people, I once, someone once replied to my comments saying I'm, I, I blindly enjoy the stuff just because it's called Star Wars. Even so, those first 11 episodes of this season was bad. You know, people. Yeah. Um. Overall though, I do think this is the Overall, the best season could have gave the most interesting storylines, even though the first half was a little while. So th that's why it's the best season could have gave the most interesting storylines. But because of that first half, I cannot give this more than a seven and a half out of ten. So that's why I'm going to give it. It's still the best season, but I can't give it any higher. So that's like minus two and a half points from the first, you know, thing. So overall. Those are my thoughts. Let me know in the comments section below what you thought of this movie. Uh, this movie. I've, I did have... I, I've been doing film with you so a lot. I, yeah. So, let me know in the comments section below what you thought about this season if you watched it. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.